All right, so here is your player breakdown as it relates to the NBA level. And I just want to get your thoughts on all of this and uh, kind of see where we can end up at of what we need to um, elevate or just improve this coming off season. So the first strength I had is creating space off the dribble. Um, I think this is the number one part of your game because you're really fast with the ball. You change pace really well and you can shoot it at a high level with a quick release so um, because of your position and you're going to be playing with more space this is going to be a big advantage for you to continue to work on and elevate um, just being able to shoot off different moves and extend your range as well as um, hitting contested shots um, that's going to be um, the next step So why all, all of this is important is because the NBA game is played in space. You have a lot more shooters around, and you also don't have the defense of three seconds. So I think that's, uh, that's really built for you, and it's going to work out well if you continue to elevate your shot-making ability. And also your position. Obviously, at the point guard position or the two guard, you got to be able to create for yourself and for others. And to do that, you have to be able to create space in one-on-one -on -one situations. Another strength I had is your on-ball defense, guarding the dribble. So just like we will talk about later on about pick-and-roll offense, conversely, you're going to have to play pick-and-roll defense. So staying in front of the dribble, and uh, being able to match up with physical, bigger point guards is going to be a big key for you. Um, I don't think you'll have a hard time doing it if you just stay locked in. So that's another strength. And then the last one I have right here is your spot-up shooting ability. You shot over 40% when you didn't have the ball initially on the possession and when you were kind of playing the two-guard position. So um, over 40%, that's going to be another big focus. Uh, because it is a numbers game, so um, continuing to get comfortable with the NBA range, a good quick release, full extension on your shot, and being able to, um, to shoot some contested ones, you're gonna have to make, you're gonna have to make some tougher shots um, at this next level as well. So again, why is this important? Um, your position and a high percentage game. So obviously at the one or the two, specifically the one, you gotta be able to shoot the three and then you gotta shoot it at a high percentage. Weakness, I put 10 feet it in. So um, statistically, I put this um, because, because you shot a pretty low percentage from 10 feet and in. So continuing to be able to work on our finishing through contact, extended finishes, floaters, runners, will be another point of emphasis as well, just to touch up a little bit. Um, the biggest opportunity for you is playing off the pick and roll. Again, like we're going to show on this sheet, around 35 to 40% of your possessions will be played on that. So keeping the game simple, making simple reads is going to be big for you. Um, most of the situations you're going to see is either a ice or just a straight catch from the big. So um, being able to reject screens, attack downhill, get to your mid-range, and create for others will be big for you. Like right here, like right here, it's a good reject downhill, and then no one picks up the ball. You do a good job of splitting across, staying in front of your defender, and then extending into the finish. So I just wanted to add a few of the pick-and-roll situations you had that are going to be similar to the league level. Here's an ice. Great separation to the baseline into the shot. So I think this will be a big thing we'll need to work on as well is reading all of the different coverages, uh, when to attack the big, when to hit the pocket bounce pass, when to drive and lob, when to get to that mid range and when to step up. Um, there's a whole lot of um, aspects to this. Why is it important? Average player at the point, at the point guard position is 30 to 40% of the time is playing off the pick and roll. So your ability to read 
the pick and rolls, your shooting percentage, and your playmaking ability off of that is going to be um, vital to your success as a starting point guard and the goal to being a elite starting point guard in the NBA. Threats, the biggest one I had for you is shooting percentage. Um, because you're not going to be able to come in to the league right away, you got to kind of earn your spot. You're not going to be able to have the opportunity to um, to shoot a low percentage. So you'll have to start out with being a high percentage player. And then as your volume takes off, as you elevate throughout, um, as you elevate your status in the league, obviously it's going to drop a little bit because of uh, being more of a high volume player. But that's going to be initially a big thing for you, staying over 40%. <clears throat> Looking at the overview, just trying to break